Hi, I'm James from Madison's Residential uh, and I'm recording a vlog today um, based on how you can help save money uh, and just uh, improve general energy situations around the home. Now, there's been an awful lot of press comment upon this recently um, and uh, some of the tips that I'm about to run through with you uh, are not new ideas. They are ideas that you may well already be aware of. But um, following the recent check-ins of uh, three tenants uh, since the new year, uh, we've run through these steps just in uh, paper format with them and they found them really useful. So what we thought is actually we'd put it out on video um, so that you've got it on here and really helping to hopefully save you uh, money in this uh, winter uh, and just improve the efficiency around the home. Um, we're re we are now in a cold snap. It's uh, Thursday the 19th of January. It was minus four when I got up this morning uh, and it is pretty cold as I stand out here now. Um, but a, a beautiful, bright, lovely sunny day. But what I'm going to do is now talk you through the steps that we've been uh, sharing with tenants and hope that you too find them useful. First of our tips is with regards to your fridge freezer. Um, it has been reported that you should be keeping your freezer well stocked, if not full. Uh, not only, of course, does that have the advantage of you're not running out of food anytime soon, should you not be able to get out to the shops, but it makes your freezer operate more efficiently. Uh, this is certainly something that my father has taken to heart and uh, I think would have taken to heart years ago. He seems to have been practicing for years and years because... He has always kept his freezer full and I don't think we'll go without a meal for the next six months. Um, the next thing is uh, going around the house and blocking off any drafts. Um, as you can see here, uh, this is the back door of the uh, property um, and draft excluder has been fitted to uh, the upright and the uh, base of the door. Um, to stop drafts coming in from outside. So obviously go around, check doors and windows. And if there are any drafts, do take this sort of low level measure. Um, but it would also then be uh, important to raise that with your letting agent uh, or landlord uh, and ensure that um, a longer term uh, prevention method is put in place. Um, Next is to look at portable electric heaters. Um, these are a great way of bringing additional heat to a room or, for example, if there are corners of the room that um, aren't so warm as others, you can get uh, an oil filled portable electric heater for not a, a not a great cost at all. They're available on Amazon for um, anything of sort of 60 pounds and upwards, depending on the size of the heater that you need. Um, but they're portable as well. So um, certainly something to bear in mind uh, that you can bring into the home and carry around the home, take around the home with you to uh, to warm up any colder uh, corners of the room. Uh, here is the family kettle. Uh, now it's been widely reported that you should really only fill the kettle to the level that you need so if it's just one cup of tea that you're brewing fill your cup with water pour it into the kettle and boil the kettle don't over boil the kettle with more water than you need um, I did see a program before Christmas that went uh, very in depth to the science of this uh, and showed the um, wattage that was used by boiling a kettle but uh, forgive me you'll just have to uh, do with a picture of the kettle and, and uh, take my word for it now, these apparently were all the rage on Black Friday and were quite literally flying off the shelves and being uh, transported around the country. The uh, air fryer. Um, we do uh, equally have one of these at home ourselves. And I must admit, it's been an absolute revelation. Um, they are brilliant. You don't need to warm them up as you do the normal ovens. Uh, and they cook in a fraction of the time. Uh, a particular favourite amongst um, our children are the um, oven chips. So we take the thin oven chips, pop them in the air fryer, 
put them on for nine minutes and they come out as good as McDonald's chips. Uh, and that's from Frozen. Um, an absolute revelation, I think, the air fryer. So uh, most certainly do investigate one of these. Uh, the other, of course, is um, LED bulbs. Here's a, a picture of an LED bulb. Um, again, they last for a really, really long time. The, the, the lifetime of these um, is enormous um, and they use a fraction of the um, output that uh, an older style bulb uh, uses. And indeed, the government is looking to um, uh, ensure that LED bulbs are the only bulbs that are available um, over the next couple of years. The uh, general temperature, I think, that a house could be uh, conceived as being kept warm is, is about 19 degrees. Um, but obviously control it from your thermostat and you can control your thermostat uh, to come on at times when, for example, you've just woken up uh, and perhaps just warm the house through an hour before you get home in the evening. So um, do use uh, your thermostat appropriately. Uh, and equally, there are um, uh, individual thermostatic valves on radiators. Um, if you haven't got one of these in your property at the moment, uh, do go online. They can be bought for not a great deal of money. And again, it may be something that your landlord um, would consider. So do speak to um, your landlord or indeed letting agent um, and ask them to look into um, individual thermostatic radiator valves. Last but not least, um, uh, in this picture, you've got the dishwasher um, in a similar way to your freezer. Uh, fill your dish dishwasher before you run it. Run it overnight at the uh, cheaper times that electricity is available. Um, so uh, I think we've all been guilty in the past of perhaps just running the dishwasher when it's only half full. Um, but we've been advised, do fill your dishwasher and run it and run it at the cheaper times of electricity availability. Um, and the same goes for your washing machine. Fill your washing machine um, and don't use the tumble dryer that is sitting beside it. Um, the tumble dryer is a heinously expensive uh, item, as I've found out. Um, so uh, the advice is that unless really needed, don't run the um, di uh, the tumble dryer. And when you're using your washing machine, make sure you put a full load in it. Hi, so I hope that summary was useful. As I say, uh, not uh, necessarily something new, but hopefully a um, useful reminder of some of the tips as to how to save costs around the house. Um, please do keep an eye out on the website for uh, further video logs like this that uh, Simon and I will be recording and uh, we hope that you find them useful. Please do let us know and uh, if there's anything that we can do to assist, um, do get in contact with us uh, at Madison's Residential. Thanks for all your time. Take care. Keep warm.